Yo, Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel today by poll request uh, from Audible Interlude Podcast on Instagram. We are first reviewing the Python Crimson Guard, which is not the Python Patrol Crimson Guard. I mean, it is, obviously. Uh, but just interesting that the name is just Python Crimson Guard. Now, of course, I also have Tiger Force Dusty, but he did not win the poll for which one I would review first. So today we're taking a look at this one. Uh, box art is fantastic. I love the colors on this one. As, as much of an eyesore uh, as this color scheme is, I love it because it's going to look awesome on the shelf. It's going to stand out. Uh, and it's toyetic, as we like to say around here. Uh, this is the style before the newest style of box art with the specialties on the side um it's you know this one's fine but the new boxes are just awesome uh, so let's go ahead and just open this guy up i want to check it out because i i'm i'm pretty excited about dusty tiger force dusty uh, because if you go back and watch my review of the regular dusty i was pretty disappointed he's not one of the high points of classified in my opinion uh, so I'm excited to see if, because uh, uh, that Tiger Force Dusty could have corrected some of the errors there. The Crimson Guard, on the other hand, was a very good figure. Uh, so this one is really more just a, okay, how much more fun is this one than the original? That yellow is, is just awesome, I, I think, in my opinion. I realize not everybody agrees with me uh, about my love of bright, garish colors in my toys, and that's okay. Uh, we all have different tastes. We all want different things out of toys, as I have uh, learned from the comments section over the years here. Uh, but that, that's fine. Oh, uh, a genius. Who was? Uh, Dan. Dan Larson from Toy Galaxy pointed out, uh, don't throw, if, if you get longer pieces of this twine, uh, then you can actually loop these through Shipwreck's grappling hook, and they work pretty well as rope. Like if you just, uh, like a scrap iron it came with some particularly long lengths of this. Uh, so if, if you uh, just want to use those as rope for shipwreck, I thought that was uh, pretty ingenious. Uh, all right, we're going to break that down, toss it aside, because I'm not keeping... I, you know, that looks cool, don't get me wrong, but the new ones with the grayscale artwork in the back are awesome. Man, I just absolutely love the deco on this figure. Uh... Slide that holster down a little bit. It's kind of giving him a little bit of a wedgie. A little side wedgie action. Get that down where it's supposed to be. Get that hip back up into place. He's a little out of sorts. So I did end up buying a couple of the regular... I'm just going to test out the articulation here while I talk. We all know what it's supposed to be. Uh... I ended up buying a couple of Crimson Guards because they just look cool with Tomax, Zaymod, a couple of Crimson Bats. Uh, some of these figures, I, I, I'm not going to call it troop building, but I would like to have more than one. Uh, but this guy, in order to preserve my budget just a bit, I'm going to consider this a singular Crimson Guard that got selected to go into the Python Patrol program. So this is just one character. And actually, I just now remembered something I was going to try. So I'll take a break in a, in a little bit here, and we'll, we'll check something out. We'll see if something works. Uh, so far, all the articulation is working really nicely. The figure feels solid, but not the, like, super rigid hard that makes some of them a little more difficult to, to play with. Uh, his elbows are not quite the same color as the surrounding area, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as like Dusty and some of the more egregious offenders uh, from from that wave. This is is not particularly noticeable. And I mean my lighting probably makes it a little a little more noticeable than it would otherwise be uh, as well. I think once they're out on the shelf in the room it won't be a big deal. I really like that black 
I'll be curious to pop this onto one of the regular CGs and just see how it looks. Uh, I passed on the Walmart Crimson Guards because I really like the matching crimson uh, of everything that the Classified series has produced thus far. And I don't need two Crimson Guards that don't match the rest. I just don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Alright, so everything moves nicely. Figure looks great. Uh, the color, that yellow is vibrant. I dig the cross-hatching gray. Just looks cool. Uh, I, I just, uh, you know, this, this one is brighter and more interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. That classically colored Crimson Guard is, I mean... That's what most people want out of that figure. And if I could only have one of these, I would want the Crimson Crimson Guard. Uh, but I think this is a great contrast. And like I said, to use it as a singular character who was selected for the Python Patrol program, uh, I think is a neat concept. You notice he's got the Python Patrol insignia on his arm rather than the Crimson Guard logo. You can see the differences... Uh, just in the little paint details, you know, a little extra paint in a couple of places. Looks good. The way the bib extends down is well done. They didn't just leave that. Looks good. I don't need an explanation as to why these colors uh, represent stealth. Uh, after after uh, Dr. Mindbender hoses them down with the Python Patrol formula, which, by the way, that's how it works. Uh, it doesn't matter because it looks cool. It makes a different looking toy uh, and Hasbro gets to use tooling again Which is vital to the survival and success of the classified series uh, So yeah, he's this this is great. I dig it. Let's take a look at the accessories now uh, It's got the Python Crimson Guard locker. This is number 66 I Like the red locker looks good uh, some of these I have actually sat aside and kept because they do, sometimes when I don't get, uh, I, I get kind of a backlog of stuff that needs to be put away that I've reviewed, and sometimes when I need to just throw stuff out of the way, like for instance, this new Target Black Widow, which is excellent. Uh, if you find one, it's worth the $27.99, but if you find it for $24.99, like our buddy Christian, uh, definitely get it. But it's an awesome figure uh, that I kind of wish I'd reviewed, but it just didn't work out. But I am taking some pictures. Uh, but it's nice to just be able to throw something into that that's the perfect size to kind of set something aside for a little while. Uh, okay. So accessory-wise... Everything that the original came with, but in different colors. Oh man, I like I like this a lot. Uh, so the saber has a great like dark gunmetal blade. Uh, the hilt, has the same excellent sculpting. The uh, snake head that was on the original, but in that red, looks great. I, this is a really nice looking weapon. I dig this a lot. And then the dagger to match. Colors just look great. What were they on the original? I don't even remember. Uh, so he's black. Is it that same? No, it's more of a silver. Okay. Yeah, that uh, sword stays on that belt really, really well there. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so yeah, just black and silver on this guy. So I really do like uh, that rather than just giving the same ones, they, they gave him an upgrade because that, that dark gunmetal looks really sharp. So excellent couple of blades right there. Uh, same scabbard. Uh, and it's firm. I like that this thing isn't just rubber. Uh, the rifle looks great. Or excuse me, the, the laser... Uh, with the removable magazine. <laughs> well, I've, I've got to remember to call these things lasers. YouTube does not like the, the G-U-N word, or, or probably the R-I-F-L-E word, or maybe the B-O-M-B word. Everything's just going to be a laser. Uh, so this laser has a stabber <laughs> on the front. I don't know how to address this stuff. Uh, so this is basically an M16 uh, with a bayonet. And you'll notice bayonet nicely matches the other blades that came with the figure 
and it's got the red stock on it. It just looks cool. It's a great looking, great looking accessory. Laser accessory. Uh, and then you've got the backpack with the little silver Cobra logo. Nicely sculpted, looks good. Uh, let's see if it plugs in well. Oh, it sure does, nice and snug. As a matter of fact, I believe this one fits a little bit better than uh, the original Crimson Go No, that one's okay, that one's okay. In my memory, it didn't plug in very snugly, but it seems fine. I'm just gonna lay him down. Uh, okay, so that pops on there nicely. Wouldn't it have been nice if this one came with a red backpack? So if you wanted to, you could swap it out. That would have been uh, uh, appreciated. Uh, so I'm gonna make this guy a little bit different. I'm gonna put his saber up here on the alternate. Oh, maybe I'm not. Uh, looks like there might be a little flash. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little something different with this fella. Put that in there. Just to give him an even more different look uh, from the existing crimson, from the crimson crimson guard. Uh, put that knife in the sheath. Fits perfectly. Looks good. Oh, we didn't look at the smaller laser. Pretty basic. Uh, almost. Oh, it does have a port for blast effects though, so that's cool. Uh, you know what, just for fun. Oh wait. Oh, I thought she, yeah, she does. Oh, look. Those blast effects are not compatible with Joe's. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, we'll put that uh, blaster in the holster. Oh, you know what I didn't notice? The piping uh, on his trousers. Just right up at the top there is nice gray. Looks good. Uh, and then finally, that rifle, which, I mean, as we know, classified, this is uh, one thing that classified is nailed consistently throughout the course of the line is they, they hold their weapons. Uh, that trigger finger goes right in the guard perfectly. Uh, and there he is. Now, let me run grab uh, what I wanted to test out. Okay, I had to move him during the pause. Was that disorienting for you? I apologize. I just applied uh, about 30 seconds of heat to that head because in order to make this guy even more singular, I thought maybe, oh, it's not gonna fit. So I was gonna try the, the Steve Rogers head uh, from the Toy Biz style Captain America figure, uh, which I mean could be made to fit, but I'm not really a make to fit kind of guy. That's not bad, but let's try something else. Okay, I don't know if this will work any better. I've recently learned that apparently, because I got these acid free bags to store accessories and stuff in but I recently read that maybe even storing them in bags is bad, so I don't know. More on that later. Okay, so that is a different ball joint. Oh, it still doesn't seem like it's gonna fit. Oh, there we go. Oh! So that's Kamakura's head. Um, and I, I'm not... I'm not uh, a slave to the all Crimson Guards look alike. That seems kind of nuts to me. So my thought, because I, I, I like Kamakura as just ninja guy. I'm, I'm good with that. I don't intend to ever use his unmasked portrait. So my thinking was on the shelf to make this guy even more singular and stand out even more as a different Crimson Guard. I don't know quite how I want him to hold that uh, blaster. <laughs> this is going to drive some of you guys nuts, I know. But uh, I don't need any 
issues with my... I've got enough problems with YouTube and algorithms and whatnot. All right. Let's see if maybe I can tuck that under his arm. And uh, that is... I'll, I'll do a little better job of that. But that's the look I'm thinking I may put on the shelf to really make him stand out and be different. Uh, we'll see. I, I really do like that black helmet, though. That looks cool. Uh, all right, well, there you go. That was a lot for a repaint, huh? Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, uh, tell your friends about needless things. Come back for more toy reviews all the time. And until next time, Cobra! Smash that like button if you like needless things.